guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So I wanted to cover why certain versions of Minecraft are not really supported anymore. And well not so much supported by Minecraft, but support not supported by Forge and other versions such as like M Creator and such. So we're gonna take a quick look into how that system works. And the easiest way is through presentations, so I'm going to do that as easy as possible for you guys. <laughs> Paint.net seems to be a little bit finicky right now. Okay, so the question is, what is support? And basically, the easiest way for me to explain what support is, is kind of show you a graph of how the development process sort of works uh, in the regard of the development for the game how it goes into Forge, and then finally M Creator, and then finally to your mods. So that's basically done like this. It's not a consistent uh, Forge is developing throughout the versions. It's actually being all supported by the game itself. So everything is dependent on the game updating and continuing to be updated. From there, uh, we have columns basically of where the support is goes into. So at any point, anywhere along these parts, uh, things might not be supported officially anymore. Now what is supported mean? This means basically that it becomes too heavy for development for all these guys to actually maintain a certain version. And what you'll start to see is certain platforms or third parties start canceling out certain versions for their development. And that basically means that they're not going to be supporting it anymore. And that, you know, it's only going to be effective for development. So even though that certain versions are actually supported, uh, those those versions basically need to be maintained by those particular developers, right? So Forge, they might decide to cut out 1.12, 1.13, 1.14 for a number of reasons, depending on how um, it might impact their development for newer versions of the game. And they might just decide to focus in on a few versions for actually maintaining and bug fixing and stuff like that. Uh, the problem with that, though, is a lot of the other versions down the line, uh, 1.12 or whatever, um, ends up getting basically neglected, even though that Minecraft supports it all. Um, it doesn't have that same support because it's a smaller team, it's not um, supported for the bug fixing, things like that. And then there's the whole other aspect of uh, issues and different development features and stuff like that. Um, Later down the line, you might have something like M Crater where they support even less. So that's basically where the Minecraft or M Crater comes in where they're only supporting the two versions. It's easier to support two versions than a whole bunch of versions. That's exactly the, basically what's going on. Uh, mods though, that's basically comes down to the last port of things. Some mods might decide to try to develop all for these other versions, but really, in the sense, when a version starts becoming unsupported, um, features are going to start breaking because it's um, just the way that M Creator works and how it's been structured. It's not going to be very reliable for certain things, and it's very um, obvious with the 1.12 version. Uh, I'll get that into that a little bit later, but basically certain features due to how Minecraft might have worked, how Forge might have used certain things, or even how M Creator started using things might not be in newer versions, and hence it might not generate properly. Uh, also, older mods and stuff like that that try using these older versions uh, might end up having parts of the code not work because if you were to try to port backwards it would end up um, not having the same support for procedures and stuff like that so it's always best to just kind of develop on these uh, supported versions for M Creator. now it's not a if it's a couple versions outdated it shouldn't impact too much like if you were to if they were to support 1.17 or something like that 1.16 
then you know working on 1.15 will be okay but it's probably a good idea to start thinking about updating to 1.16 or 1.17 as soon as possible as far as other problems with the um exact process of how things work you know we have 1.12 here and then we have 1.13 now this is actually really important to actually note because a lot of changes happened between these two versions uh 1.12 uh, basically uses a older ID system. So basically the ID system for 1.12 would have looked something like 1. or 120 for a certain block. Uh, this was all under the same namespace. There wasn't actually even namespaces back then. Uh, it was just everything was assigned an ID. So basically the ID was for the block and it would cap at something i think like 200 when before it goes into items a lot of games use this method it's not efficient whatsoever for modding support and uh basically when 1.13 came out uh they decided to use namespaces which is way more efficient and supports way more mods because then it basically uses the name like a name for the mod and then a name for the actual id for the block now the reason why this is efficient compared to 1.12 is because no mod will have conflict in with the same thing so you can't make two ruby blocks for the same mod uh, you can give it a different name you could probably put like ruby 2 right here uh, that would work uh, but mods, like say you have a mod called Emerald Ruby or something like that for the namespace, then you, that mod decides to also add a Ruby block because it's under the same or a different namespace, that Ruby block ID won't have conflict with the other, um, Emerald or Ruby mod for itself. So basically there won't be conflict because the the namespace is completely different. So that's one of the major changes between 1.12 and 1.13. Uh, again, you'll see a lot of difference between another factor, and that's Java versions. Now, back in the day, um, Java versions for the game are always constantly changing, and you might run into conflict with certain things. Certain codes might support certain things, like certain versions, like Java 8 might support A, B, and C, but Java 9 might only support B, C, D, and E. And later on, I mean, as progression goes on, I mean, you might have A, B, no C, and then D, E, F. So certain features might start breaking because of certain versions of Java, and that's just a completely new aspect to remember. Now, I bring that up because 1.12, that version of Java is like so broken for the game now, for modding and stuff like that, it's not even funny. And as much as you can kind of get away with it, it's just, it's a version that is for good reason not supported anymore. And it needs to not be supported and that's why Amp Creator and Forge have both abandoned it. And it's just because the ID system is through a number of problems with the actual mod. So it's important to remember that uh, certain versions, when they're not supported, to try to port your mod. And that's kind of where the process of basically updating your mod, porting it to newer versions come in like I did in the other video the other day about the um, modding versions and what versions should you use and stuff. Uh, this one is just to kind of show you the aspect of the development process between Minecraft, Forge, Amp Creator, and then finally getting to your mod. Hopefully this made a lot of sense. Um, I think that's about it outside of one final note. The 1.12 plugin that is basically on Amp Creator's site is basically broken for a number of reasons again it hasn't been maintained for a very long time that's going to be a huge contributor in it uh certain procedures that are recently added in that aren't been added support for in that particular plugin 
are most likely going to crash the the actual game or the the application because they're not actually in it and it doesn't know what to make of it so there's that and then there is a bunch of other things like certain procedure procedure blocks that were in versions that were supported would not even be supported in for actually using and there's no not a really great way to determine what procedure blocks are going to work or not that's why i always suggest upgrading to the latest version for the game uh, like for minecraft or whatever and i know 1.17 isn't the latest right now but it's like 1.18 but it's the, the month it's the most that i could fit on this space um but yeah that's basically why you always should go to the newest one because it has the most support for things but uh yeah that's just remember when you're using the plugin that you're going to run into a lot of issues and honestly abandoning 1.12 and just trying to port everything that you can to a newer version you might even need to rebuild stuff if you're still on 1.12 um it's probably just the better route of going because eventually your mod is just going to become stagnant and it's so far outdated it's not going to be easy to continue working on it for much longer if any time at all it's just going to get harder the more time progresses and that's just down to a number of factors like the id system and the namespace system java version whatever version that it might have used it might have had less features and then there's the plugin uh which was basically dropped for support for from the community so uh yeah there's there's that hopefully this will kind of help you guys see that you know newer versions are better should be taken as priority compared to versions um that are not supported by m creator and that's all i really have to say if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out